Peace and blessings and a whole lot of love given to you, you and all of you. Everyone knows, this is my sage stick, that I um like to smudge myself, my aura, my laptop, my bedroom, and the rest of the house. Because I like to cleanse up the energy that we may have picked up from other people that we may have been around. And this is a very peaceful household, right? I have a good relationship with my children. Like, it's just so much peace in this household. So I was like, you know what? Before I go to bed, let me do a quick video on sage and smudging. Uh-oh. I don't know. That's too... Um, let me see. Um... The Ancient Art of Burning Sage The ritual burning of herbs and herbal resins is common to many cultures in the world. From the rich frankincense of the church in the Middle East and Bazaar, to the heady incense of Asia, to the raw energy of brush burning in many native cultures. The purification of space through this modality is a global phenomenon and one you can benefit from highly. Burning sage is one of the oldest and purest methods of cleansing a person, group, of people, or space. While Native American sage burning is the most commonly recognized form of it today, it has nevertheless been sh been a shared practice in other cultures too. And then, oh, it's so hot. Sage is for healing. Um, many who eschew the burning of incense and herbs as a cleansing method and think that the only purpose is this tradition is to make dwellings smell nice, have perhaps never smelled sage burning. No one who has smelled the, smelled the distinct tang of burning sage will say that it could only be for an aesthetic or factory purpose. The benefits... Hold on, please. The benefits of burning sage can be harnessed very simply by burning sage in your home, office, or any other place. And it is a plan. I would love to be able to take <laughs> sage to work and burn it in my classroom before those children show up. But can't do that. How to burn sage properly. Sage burning cleansing rituals can be as elaborate or as simple as you want them to be. But it is of the highest importance that your intentions be clear before you begin. If you are burning sage to purify a space or a person, even yourself, then this needs to be clearly planted in your mind before you light the sage and while taking the smoke around a home or thorough space. Like I like to just, before I burn out, I burn out, I would like to say I'm cleansing my aura of any negative energy that I may be carrying. Or that I may have picked up, or the same thing I may, I might take um I may say around my um computer I um cleansing my any my cleansing my laptop of any negative energy that may be transmitted through my laptop, or I may do my room or the bathroom or the rest of the house by just simply saying I am cleansing the energy of my environment from. You know, from anything that may be negative. So you always set your attentions before you start to sage. Okay? Um, let me go with some benefits I was reading. I just... Hold on. Continue. Um, come on. Sending out energy is one surrounding place that enables neutral energy, which naturally helps with intuition. The Native American tribes were known to use sage for multiple purposes, such as healing, clearing space, and ceremonies. Many benefits can be gained in utilizing sage for smudging. If you're not familiar with smudging, it's a Native American ritual that's like a spiritual house cleaning or spiritual um, purification. Sage smudging your room, which I already talked about. You can say smudge an object, what I talked about, such as my laptop. And you can say smudge for aromatherapy. Um, sage is great for aromatherapy, um, aromatherapy scent. Any place in the house that is susceptible for smell, like the trash, can, or litter box, were great. I place my sage sticks a few times around my cat Sophia's box and leave her fresh scent. So, you know, burning sage is something that I've learned when I begin this spiritual journey because 
you know, you dealing with so much when you come across people, places, and things. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any. I'm not talking to you, Siri. When you come or contact or just enter in a, a room that's full of negative, like I can go into a room and I can feel the negativity within that room if there is any negative. Like I can feel it. So you don't want to be in that room without protecting yourself. Like I wear crystals. Like I'm so. My number one priority right now is maintaining my peace. I have been through so much in my life, didn't know how to deal with certain things. Now I am handled to, I am able to better handle things that I may have to deal with. And uh, every morning, when I before I leave to go to work, I always try to perform a ritual. My rituals are sage smudging, um, um, positive thoughts. I may do an oracle card reading for some type of guidance. You really have to protect yourself because there's just so many different entities out there in the world that can attach themselves to you. And you don't know what the hell is going on if you're not familiar with it. So try it. You might like it. You can search on the website if you didn't understand anything in my video. Like you can just search um, smudging, say smudging and you can find out. Because it's simple. Some people may burn it in, in in a bowl like something like this because this is what it came with some people may you i do have with my feather i do have a oh yeah i have a um feather that some people might you know fan and smoke like that so it's not hard to burn just make sure you set your intentions when you're burning it and um it should help it should, it should benefit you in the long run in the long run Peace, blessings, a whole lot of love. God is her dear. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel as I share my opinions, my views, and my personal life experiences and anything that I may be learning on this spiritual path of mine. Love you.